Macarena, tu cuerpo alegría, Macarena, que tu cuerpo pa' dar la alegría y cosas buenas. The more modern they are, the worse I get. <laughs> How well do each of you know dance moves? Oh, I don't. Dance moves? <laughs> I know a few, you know, like from back in the day. My time, yes, but not the new ones. Yeah, now, I like, I don't know. Modern dance moves are just weird. We have, like, twerking. I've heard about this. You twerk. <laughs> so we're doing a generational battle today. Oh my god, a generational battle. You ready, kid? No. <laughs> Me. Okay, good answer. From what yeah. era? That's probably like the determining factor to see how much I'm gonna know. <laughs> Older and younger generations are going head to head to see which knows dance moves from the last 100 years. Last 100 years? I got the first 50 covered. <laughs> <laughs> the Roaring Twenties, like the, the Charleston. In my day, that's how you got to meet people. We didn't have the social media, we didn't have the f cell phones. So, so you'd go to parties and dances and introduce yourself to girls and yeah, whatever, and dance with them. You get to know them that way. So this is how the game works. We'll play you a video of a dance move. Once the clip is over, you'll write down what the name of the dance move is. If you get it right, you get a point. Okay. Ready for your first dance move? Yeah. As I'll ever be, considering my lack of knowledge on the subject. <laughs> I don't think you'll know any of the modern ones. Well, I don't think you'll know any of the older okay. ones. <laughs> the we'll, classic ones. We'll find out. Okay. <laughs> she get enough though. Hey, go up, sis. <laughs> I got it. I see the that dance, but I don't know like the name of the it. The name of it. Alright, reveal your answers. Okay, what did you put down? I did step. <laughs> I said the Charles scratch. You both got it right. Yeah. You did. We're starting off on a good foot. <laughs> yeah. On a good foot. We got that? Because of a popular song of the same name in the Broadway show Runnin' Wild, the Charleston became a hit oh! dance in the 20s. In my history class, we were learning about like this. Oh, so I okay. was like, hmm, like it could be the Charleston. Wow, I actually got that. So here's the dance with the song just for reference. Okay. <laughs> I can teach you when we get home. So that's, that's cute. Stuff. That's a good exercise move today. 20s music was just so upbeat and fun. I'm so proud of her. Oh See, my goodness. That means I pay attention in history class. Good for you. Got it. I got it. I think I know this one. Oh, okay. I know two. I know okay. two. Okay. It's so awkward watching them do it without music. Look at that. They're just having fun. <laughs> All right, let's see your answers. Put... Hey, we wrote the same thing. <laughs> From the early 60s, this became a worldwide dance craze with immense popularity while drawing controversy from critics who felt it was too provocative. This dance is the twist. Sick! Yeah! Ah! <gasps> <laughs> how, how you like me now? <laughs> so here's the dance with music. Ooh, yeah. Just like it, they're literally yes, twisting yes, their yes, bodies. Yes. Like, how did I not twist. guess that? Chubby Checker. Okay, that song makes it go with it. Okay. <laughs> so much fun. Once you kind of realize what they're doing, it's kind of obvious because name correlates with what you're doing, you know? Charleston, maybe not too much, but definitely with a twist. Looks like a 70s move. <laughs> oh, I don't know what this is. <laughs> that looks so familiar. Ooh. 
That confused me a lot. It's probably a dance that I know, but I don't know the name. Let's see your answers. I don't know. I did the jive. Mine says the two-step. I wrote the grapevine, but I don't think it is. Is it, there's a grapevine dance? Yeah. So <laughs> this is a line dance that became an international dance craze in 1975, following Van McCoy and the Soul City Symphony song, The Hustle. Therefore, the dance was called The Hustle. The Hustle. Oh, no, we didn't get this one right at all. <laughs> Let's listen to the song then. <laughs> It's literally in the song. <laughs> uh huh. Like disco. <laughs> Looks like an underwear ad to me. Sometimes when I'm home, I'm dancing in front of the mirror. Maybe that's what I was doing, hustling. You was doing the hustle this whole time, huh? <laughs> Okay. Got it. Oh, oh, I, I know this one. <laughs> I'd rather be able to do it than know it. Yeah, okay. This song was played literally like almost every day when I was like in preschool. Okay, Ulysses, you're beating me. <laughs> but like, I don't know that one. Let's see your answers. <laughs> Blank. I live the hockey. The macarena. Oh, the maca yeah, that's what I was trying to think <laughs> of. The macarena. So this is a Spanish dance song by Los Del Rio about a woman who cheats on her boyfriend while he is being drafted into the army. Wow, that's what the song's about? You know what they say about that? Sure. It's no bueno. <laughs> the dance that goes along with this song was a huge success in the US in the 90s, and it is the macarena. Yeah. Oh, it's crazy how like these really fast like upbeat songs you would never know the meaning until you truly listen to it. Yes, very catchy. That always gets people <laughs> on the dance floor. Man, we're great. All of a sudden, we're, we're hitting them around a roll now. Damn. Oh my gosh, I know this. Oh God, oh my God. Oh my gosh, I already hear the song in my head. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, this is, um. Soldier Boy. Whoa. That was a hint. The more modern they are, the worse I get. <laughs> Let's see those answers. The song that accompanies this dance became the first song ever to sell 3 million digital copies in the US in 2008. This is Crank That Soldier Boy. I put that on there too and I was like, I didn't know if that was gonna be it. Oh, I got it! I still dance to that all the time. Soldier Boy, I it. Oh, what I mean, me crank it, watch me roll. Why what you crank that Soldier Boy, the Superman. Now what me you, crank that Soldier Boy. Now what me you, now I be you, crank that soldier boy. I be you, crank that soldier boy. Soldier boy, I be in it. Oh, Let's play up my fourth grade dance. Why you crank that soldier boy? The Superman. Now I be you. Iconic. I love that song. <laughs> I have that on my playlist. I really like the Charleston. <laughs> <laughs> so you just didn't like this one? No. <laughs> I've seen that, but I don't know what they call it. Oh my god. I see the kids that do this all the time. <laughs> don't do it, don't dab, don't dab, don't do it. I don't understand how this got so viral. It's something I can't do, but I, it, it, I think it's kind of cute. Are you ready? Shake, uh, shake attack. <laughs> That 
is the floss. So Russell okay. Horning, aka Backpack Kid, performed this dance during a Saturday Night Live performance of Katy Perry's song Swish Swish in 2017. It has since become a trend among children and teens and has been performed by celebrities in videos and it's called the floss. I always see the kids doing it, but I never knew what it was. <laughs> How do you spell it? Like a floss. Dental floss? Yeah. They, don't know what is what. they just strut. Let's go. Oh my gosh. That's Katy Perry. Oh, is it? <laughs> I love all the people trying to try in the back. <laughs> That's funny. Maybe I'll do that now in exercise. That one will, uh, your arms will get tired real quick on that. I mean, just that, you know. I like some of the other dances. All the other ones better than that one. After this challenge, how do you both feel about your dance knowledge? I am so proud of I'm myself. I'm so proud of you, baby. Oh, wow. I thought she you was going to so be so well I informed. There's definitely a generation gap, for sure. I mean, whoa. Big time. It's really crazy to see the progression of dances. You can see how, like, conservative they were before and then it started to be like slowly become like promiscuous and then like people just stopped caring and they started doing anything that they wanted. Today is so much variety and so much difficulty. I think I grew up in a much simpler, easier time. No, it's competitions and it's more athletic, more show off too, I think, don't you? <laughs> yeah. I think the dance moves themselves haven't changed so much, but like the music has changed exceptionally that they go to. The hustle and the crank that soldier boy, like if you put the crank that soldier boy like it kind of looks like it look it looks like the hustle. Thanks for watching this episode of Do They Know It on the React channel. Subscribe for new shows every day. Bye. Bye. Hey guys, Caprice here, your React channel producer. Make sure to check out Superfam by joining or helping us sustain and grow our YouTube. So check out the link in the description. Thanks. Bye.